How to Troubleshoot Webhook Failures in Freshdesk Automation A webhook is a callback made to an application to create, update, or retrieve data. It is triggered in response to specific conditions. In this video, we will use the example of a webhook that failed to create a new ticket when a requester replies to a closed ticket to troubleshoot webhook failures. Now, let's see how you can quickly check and correct a webhook failure using three simple steps. Step 1. Check your inbox for a webhook failure email. Step 2. Understanding the reason for the webhook failure. Step 3. Reconfiguring the webhook by implementing the corrections. First, let's see how to check for a failed webhook. If you are an account administrator, check your mailbox for an email from Freshdesk with the subject, please recheck the webhook settings in your account. Note that it takes between 30 to 90 minutes for the email to arrive. Click on the email to open it. The HTTP status code and response text highlight the reason for webhook failure. Now, let's understand the reason for the failure. The response text clearly states that the reason for the webhook failure is an incorrect API call. A post API request should be made to create a ticket. Here, the put API request is chosen incorrectly. Click on the link in the email to open the automation rule where the webhook failed. Next, let's reconfigure the automation rule with the correct API request type. Navigate to the request type section of the automation. Here, a put API call is added incorrectly. We understand that a post API call should be made to create a new ticket. Let's change the request type to post. Scroll down and click on preview and save. In the pop-up window, preview the summary of the automation rule and verify the trigger webhook method. Click save. Now, go to tickets and select a closed ticket. Add a reply as the requester and refresh the page. Go to the ticket list view page and check for a new ticket. You can now see a new ticket created for the reply sent in the closed ticket. The automation rule now works as expected. Here are a few important checks to perform while configuring a webhook. Choosing the proper API request type for your webhook. Avoiding accessibility issues by using the API key of an account administrator. Avoiding syntax errors like missing a comma or parenthesis while adding the API payload. Making sure all mandatory fields are passed in the API payload. And that's how you troubleshoot webhook failures in Freshdesk Automation. If you need further assistance, please reach out to support at freshdesk.com.